It Must Hurt a Lot, a child's book about death, written by Doris Sanford, illustrated by Gracie Evans. Joshua knew something was wrong when he came in the door. Mom said, I have something to tell you, and she wasn't smiling. As a matter of fact, her voice was sad, and Joshua thought she would cry. Then she said it. Muffin was hit by a car this morning, and she died. Mom put her arms around him, and they both cried hard. Who killed my puppy, Mom? The neighbors just didn't see her, honey. When they backed the car out of the driveway, she died right away and did not hurt a long time. How could they, Mom? Why weren't they careful? I hate them. I hate them. Joshua wanted to be alone. He had never hurt so much in his whole life. Muffin was his very best friend. She slept on Joshua's bed, licked his tears, played ball, and waited by Joshua's plate every night at dinner. Because Joshua was the messiest eater of all, sometimes on purpose. Mom said he could get another puppy, but he didn't want another puppy. He wanted Muffin. Didn't anybody understand? The next day, Tim came over. Tim was Joshua's friend, and they loved to play together. But today was different. Tim acted funny, and he never mentioned Muffin. Not once. Joshua knew he had been told. Pretty soon, Tim said, Well, I have to go home now. And he did. For weeks, it was awful. Sometimes Joshua would forget about Muffin for a little while. Then when he remembered, it hurt so much. At night, he always cried himself to sleep. It felt like his whole world had been taken away. He didn't feel like eating or playing with anyone. When Eric, his brother, who was 11, said, Quit being a baby. Muffin was only a dog. Joshua yelled, Shut up! And he tried to hit him. Most of all, he felt more alone than he had ever felt in his life. It didn't happen right away, but one day, when Joshua was thinking hard all by himself, he knew that some big changes were happening inside him. They were his very own special secrets. But he said I could tell just you. When mom wanted to get another puppy right away, she just wanted to fix everything because she loved Joshua so much. But it was Muffin that Joshua missed. So the first secret is, when I love lots, I hurt lots. And when Tim came over to play, he just hadn't known what to say about Muffin. But he did feel sorry that Muffin died. My friends want to help. They just don't know how. When Eric yelled at Joshua for crying, it was because he was near tears himself. He loved Muffin too. He just acted differently. Everybody handles feelings in his own way. Joshua was so glad he told Muffin how much he loved her and had kissed her on her cold, wet nose every day. It would be awful if Muffin had died not knowing how much Joshua loved her. If you love somebody, tell him now. A month later, when Tim's grandma died, Joshua sat on Tim's bed and cried. Not just because she made the best chocolate chip cookies of anybody, but because Joshua knew how it felt to lose someone you love. 
I can help my friends when they hurt. In time, Joshua did begin to feel better. He thought about all the fun times with Muffin, and he was glad they had been best friends. He was stronger now, and Muffin's death had helped him grow. Good memories always stay. All these secrets warmed Joshua.